So what if you could carry your cake by the handle? Hmm? It's going to make you stand out as a baker. This step-by-step -step tutorial will show you how it's done. The kit that I have purchased to do this is very affordable and posted worldwide. It's a fantastic, innovative piece of equipment. Give it a try, guys, and let's make a start. For this particular cake, I am using the new Carry Cake Kit by Dinky Doodle. These are fantastic. Plastic. They're not too expensive and they come in three different shapes. So here I have the oval, but there's also a rectangular version and a round version available. I will leave the official link to Dawn Butler's Dinky Doodle website where you can purchase these items in the description below the video. It comes with three separate parts the handle and the two other parts that you can see on the table there simply go through the cake. These kits have been designed really well so all I needed to do was bake one 12 inch square cake and then you've got enough cake to be able to cut out two of these ovals. I simply placed it directly on top of my 12 inch square and using a knife went directly around this as a template. Now I want to cover this base with some buttercream so it acts like a glue for the cake. This particular recipe that I am using for the entire basket weave and to fill and crumb coat the cake is also in the description below this video as a separate YouTube tutorial. Now I want to add my first layer of cake to the oval shaped base. I'm then simply going to cover this layer with some buttercream to sandwich both of them together. Now add your final layer of cake. We will be carving a small amount of this away before we do our crumb coat. You don't have to carve any cake away if you don't want to. But I just want to make the top part of my basket look a bit more smooth. So I'm going to give them more of a rounded shape. Once I've done this, using the rest of my buttercream, I will be crumb coating the whole of the cake. In total for this cake, you're going to need two lots of my buttercream recipe. One batch will fill and crumb coat the cake. The second batch you will use for the basket weave effect. If you're not familiar with crumb coating, it's basically just a method where we cover the whole cake with buttercream. This will act as a glue if you're adding fondant to the cake, which in this case we're not going to be doing, but it will also keep your cake lovely and fresh as it protects it from the air. You want to cover the whole cake, place it back in the fridge until that buttercream is set lovely and hard. Now my buttercream has gone lovely and hard. I'm simply going to turn this upside down. Now we can physically move it with our hands because the buttercream is nice and hard on there. You need to be able to see this oval base where there are those two small gaps. Taking the pieces, simply slot them directly in, push gently down until they touch your surface or your cake board, whatever you've got the cake on right now. I'm then going to flip it the other way. Remember this buttercream's nice and hard, so we're not really causing any damage to the cake. And continue to allow those to push straight through until they appear directly on the top of the cake. Now we are pretty much ready to decorate our cake. In order to do this you now need to make up one more batch of my buttercream recipe. That should be enough for the basket weave effect. Again that is in the description below this video as a separate YouTube tutorial. You're going to need a 2B Wilton basket weave piping nozzle. I'm using disposable piping bags for mine and I'm going to be colouring my buttercream the chestnut colour by Sugarflare. 
Taking a ruler, simply mark lines directly onto your crumb coated cake. This will just help us as a guide when we do the basket weave effect. Taking your piping bag and making sure the smooth end of the nozzle is the part that touches the cake where the serrated end is actually at the top. This will give you the effect of the basket weave. Start by going down one of your vertical lines. Again, my buttercream recipe is a separate tutorial and I will leave a link for you in the description below this video. Once you have gone down one of the lines, simply go over the line in the opposite direction. This time we're going to leave a slight gap and we're going to repeat that process. Just gently push and pull away at the same time. When I say push, you are squeezing that piping bag, but gently making sure that you also pull the piping bag away from the actual cake. I find piping very therapeutic, which I'm sure you've noticed with the teddy bear cakes that I do. But this is the first time for me using a basket weave nozzle and I did actually find it relatively easy to do. Once you've done your first set, go down the other line, just like so, and then you see the small gaps that we've got just here. I'm not, that's where I'm going to do my horizontal line going across. And if you repeat this all the way around the cake, you will end up with a beautiful basket weave effect. But again, this cake is perfect because if you don't like the taste of fondant, it's all buttercream. I'm going to speed this up for you now just so that you can see how to pipe the cake. This is what your cake should be looking like so far. If I just give it a little turnaround for you. What we're going to be doing next with a very small amount of buttercream is just making the top the same colour. So I'm just going to spread some buttercream on there before we add just a few fondant accents. I am using Renshaw's Ready to Roll icing and I'm going to be colouring it again with the Sugar Flare Chestnut colour. I'm going to do my best to get it the same colour as the buttercream and then we're just going to add the rim and the handle to our wicker basket. For both the rim of the basket and the handle, you want to roll out sausage shapes. Now, if you're not used to doing this and keeping them simple, you just do what I'm doing here in the video where I keep both of my hands on there and make sure as I'm rolling, I move my hands with it. This will keep it a nice, even shape all the way through. Continue to do this until you have three sausage shapes. Once you have your three, if you just pinch them all together at the top and bring the one furthest away from you towards you, the same with the second one, and then the third. Once you've done this, you can actually start to roll it up and it will give a lovely rope-like effect. I'll speed this part up for you, but that is as simple as it is. You just want to repeat this and make a few more. I used two in total for the rim of the actual basket and three for the handle. Because we're applying this directly to the buttercream, I'm not using any edible glue. Simply pick up the rim and gently place it on to your basket. Repeat this for the other side and take your time making it look neat. Now we need to add the handle. The handle that comes with the set is designed to slot into the sections that are actually coming out of the cake. Now, you could leave it like that if you wanted to, but I want to cover mine up a little bit. So just using some edible glue and some fondant, I don't need the pattern down the sides because it's going to be covered with the X. I'm just going to wrap loads of fondant down the sides of my handle just so it's more disguised because the colour is black. Then 
on the top of the handle you'll see that sausage shape that I have just there just like we did with the rim that will be going over the top and I'm going to make two more for the front and the back and everything is just stuck together with edible glue. So once you've done the handle so you've just added it to the front and the back. I've already added some eggs to my basket. I couldn't wait. And now I'm just going to add some cookies, some more eggs. You can add anything to this basket that you want to. But mine's Easter themed, really chocolate. It's a little chocolate hamper. So just make it look as delicious as you can. And then we're actually going to be able to physically pick up this hamper this kit by dinky doodle is absolutely amazing now it's time to pick it up and show you just how much this kit can hold how amazing is that it might look very thin and fragile but i guarantee you it's very strong i highly recommend it and your customers are just going to love it. And for £15 a kit, you can't go wrong. So what are you waiting for, guys? Stand out from the crowd. You can find the link to the Dinky Doodle side and these kits in the description below this video. They are shipped worldwide. Happy baking, everyone. I hope I've helped you again today. And I will be back soon with more new free content.